So how do we explain it, McAvee? How do you explain what happened last night? Well, I think the way you can explain this is the offensive side of the ball for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Tom Brady wanted to have that thing locked down last week. Okay, I got a chance to talk to Clyde Christensen, quarterback coach for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, formerly of the Indianapolis Colts. He was the one that actually taught me whenever I was third string quarterback for the Indianapolis Colts. And he said <laughs> Tom wanted to have the plan pretty much yeah, locked in about poorly. a week the ability to kind of adjust as they went and got closer to the game. So whenever you're talking about Byron Leftwich, Tom Brady and the boys on the offensive side, Gronkowski, Brown, Leonard Fournette playing for a contract, that guy was unbelievable all playoffs, running his ass off. I think it became almost to a point where that play-action offense that we were all calling for early in the season, Dan, you were calling for this earlier in the season with that Tampa Bay Buccaneers team, Tom Brady has his most success whenever his backs are playing great football. Leonard Fournette for the last four weeks, three weeks, point. has been playing incredible football. Ronald Jones got hurt. They kind of handed it off to playoff Lenny and they said, hey, you got to do your thing. And I don't think there was anything Steve Spagnuolo could have done in that particular case. And then once Brady and the Honey Badger started chirping and you saw Brady actually getting animated with it, you're like, okay, this is the Chase Young situation again. You just don't poke the bear. You don't poke the goat. Even though they don't have teeth, they have the ability to go nuts. And on the other side, whenever you talk about that defensive line for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and Dominican Sue, the man that Greeny was just talking to a little bit ago, he's been around a long, long time. And whenever you get to a Super Bowl, I was very lucky to play in a Super Bowl my rookie he never made it back, but everybody can take it up another notch. And Dominic and Sue went into that game last night thinking, if I get hurt in all of my joints, I have six months to recover from this thing. When you talk about Vita Vea, Shaquille Barrett, when you talk about these guys who laid low on the line, they knew that they had five, six months to be remembered forever. It was unbelievable watching them work, and I assume all of them want to be back, and that team's only going to get better and better as we go forward here down in Tampa Bay, Gronkineer land. This and then our seed. About... Go ahead, Ryan. No, no, no. This is this is about week twelve, though. Like you asked the question, you asked the question, how can you get out, coach? These two teams play. If you're the yeah. Kansas City Chiefs and, and, and Tyreek Hill goes for two bills in the first quarter, you feel like that works. You think that's the way to go. Why do I need to change anything? But if you're Tampa Bay and you see that, you understand that something has to be different, right? And if you're the Kansas City right. Chiefs and you blitz Tom Brady and he threw two interceptions and he was throwing the football into the stands early on right. in the game, you say, you know what? We're going to come back and do the same thing. But if you're the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, you say, we did beat them with the play-action pass. We did get the run game going a little bit. And so you come into this game with different perspective. These two teams saw mm -hmm. each other and one felt good about who they were who they were and the other didn't and the team that didn't change that and when they change that they go on this unprecedented run and it culminates with you seeing the same team that changed you thank you for watching espn on youtube for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to espn plus